if you got your saddle hops down, you can also turn with them. Uh, I'm going to show it here for the uh, saddle hop from spinning upwards. That's this one. And uh, you add on this exactly as you add to the saddle hop. I'm going to start here demonstrating from spinning uh, with a surface side hand. So I'm spinning to outwards towards the sofa under the opposite leg and the saddle hop you do by just pushing the leg behind and lifting the other one for the exit. Um, to turn you start to spin here and to start wrapping the whip around the leg but instead of just pushing that leg behind you already start to turn here and do a quarter turn. So to here. So you see I'm now standing facing the dragon tree and the whip comes up here outside of my leg and spinning upwards here on um, actually on wheel plane. We start spinning on wall plane outwards and here it comes up in wheel plane coming up towards the dragon tree and from here um, it's just one extended spin to the other side, so it's coming from here all the way around to that side and then spinning down towards the sofa and you have to turn a bit more again so you um, finally have the 360 uh, turn because you need your leg in this position here, that's um, the exit position for the, uh, for the saddle hop, that you have the space here between uh, this between the two legs where the hand can pass through and you back to where you started. So showing it again, you're spinning outwards here towards the sofa, under the opposite leg, turn, spin up, spin down and out. Once again, like so. Showing it uh, from behind. So again, yeah, spinning towards, outwards towards the sofa. Here, now it's up, down, and out. Also for the other side, now spinning outwards towards the dragon tree, spinning under the sofa side like doing a quarter turn. It's coming up here now towards the sofa outside uh, outside this leg uh, in, in wheel plane. And you take it all the way around until it's coming down towards the dragon tree. Turn a bit further to have the space between the legs for the handle to pass through and you spin out. So like this. showing this also from behind. So it's like so. Um, when you first try this you'll probably end up with something more horizontal. So like you're spinning upwards here under this leg turning and instead of spinning upwards you end up in a horizontal plane. Uh, at least I did when I first tried this. Um, to avoid this horizontal thing, really focus on the handle spinning upwards at the, at the point where you just start the turning. So when you're spinning here outwards, from here, then really focus that it's going up here. And I really lift my knee here in that direction, so um, I really focus on that on that upswing, on that upswing, and then on turning around. And at the end, you can cheat a little if you um, if you adjust the planes a bit. So if you're not turning all the way around here to get it spinning out, but maybe are more at an angle here than um, can 
adjust the plane here um, to, to get out without hitting yourself. Um, but the first step really uh, focusing on that offspring, that's how to avoid the horizontal plane. Um, the horizontal uh, version is not bad in itself, it's not wrong in any sense, it's just a different version. And I think it's really nice for transitions into horizontal stuff or into some kick-ups or anything like, like that. If you start spinning here and end up here, and maybe even uh, uh, end up like this, if you have your whip um, coming horizontal over the leg, you end up here and you can do some kind of kick-ups here or um, if you have your whip coming out underneath horizontal, you can go into other horizontal stuff. Um, so it's not bad and you can use it for other transitions, but it's just a different version. If you want the vertical one, really focus on that upswing when you start turning. Um, you can also do them all from spinning inwards. It's basically the same thing. Um, just notice if you switch from spinning outwards to spinning inwards, you also have to switch the direction uh, in which you turn. So when I'm starting here with the dragon tree side hand spinning outwards, I turn this way. And if I use the same hand spinning inwards, I turn it this way. That's the main difference. And, um, well, you figure that out.